What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade. And in today's video, I am going to be discussing how you can become an information security analyst. Welcome back to the Black Heights channel, where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, do me a stone cold favor and hit that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, we are going to jump directly into this video today, guys. So one of my subscribers actually asked the question is if or how to become a, an information security analyst. And I want to just explain what an information security analyst is before I jump into any of the steps or a process that you can take to become an information security analyst. So what is an information security analyst, guys? Well, an information security analyst basically oversees uh, an organization's computer networks and their systems. And they use their technical skills to identify flaws in the company's digital security system, which helps to keep uh, data sensitive or data protected and information secure. So they also do things like mine data to recommend uh, various uh, security changes and efficiency strategies. And what they ultimately are trying to do is prevent a security breach into the company that they are trying to protect. They want to protect them from um, leaking data. They want to protect them from uh, getting personal information out there and really stopping the uh, leakage of some of their most valuable assets it could be intellectual data it could be uh, individuals data. So that's basically what an information security analyst does. So guys, now I'm going to give you four steps that you can take to become an information security analyst. I mean, like the information security analyst role is pretty broad. I mean, like they do a lot of things as I explained um, in the prior section. The first thing you want to to do is if you want to become an information security analyst is to research, 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 research. There are a number of information security analyst roles out there, whether it's a cyber security analyst, whether it is a uh, network security analyst, they all kind of fall into the same sort of umbrella. And there are many opportunities that exist out there and that umbrella continues to evolve. And you know, there are going to be many opportunities for cybersecurity professionals to position themselves correctly. But the first thing you want to do is do research. And I say that because before launching down any career path, you need to watch people or talk to people who are in cybersecurity roles. So watch YouTube channels, read up on cybersecurity, understand what it is that uh, about cybersecurity that you really are interested in and try to map a path from where you are today to how you're going to get there. That's the simplest form of really training your brain to become something in life and to accomplish something in life is to research it first and then take the steps that you need in order for you to get there. And a lot of doing research is not just reading, it's not just reading articles, it's really talking to people and visiting people who are in the cyber cybersecurity field and talking to them or either watching their videos. So first step that I would say for you guys is to research exactly what you want to do in cybersecurity, what kind of work that you want to do and research the kind of education that you're going to need, what sorts of certifications that you're going to need, because even the entry level cybersecurity or uh, sec information security analyst roles need to have some sort of certification and some sort of specialized training. So it's best to plan in advance with research. And my number two would be to get some form of education. And according to the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics, the BLS.gov that I always use, most cybersecurity analysts uh, have a bachelor's degree in either cybersecurity management information systems, mathematics, computer science, or engineering. And a lot of them really go towards management information systems because it is an opportunity to learn about the business side, 
which is why you're doing the cyber security or information security analysts because you're protecting the actual business as well as learning about the technical side of it as well and the tools that you can use to protect the business. So I recommend a management information systems degree, which is the reason why I'm making this video. However, uh, you can have a degree in mathematics, you can have a degree in computer science or any of the engineering fields as well too. And there are also associate degrees that you can potentially get to start your career and then transfer that into a full on term, a full degree, or either getting enough certifications that's going to allow you to get your foot into the door and to obtain a entry level cybersecurity job or an intermediate level uh, cybersecurity job in the private sector. And my number three, guys, would be to gain certifications. One thing that separates cybersecurity folks uh, from other professionals in many jobs is that uh, uh, both entry level and mid career require some level of certification that shows uh, some proficiency in a specific kind of skill. As an MIS major myself, I didn't go into information security, so I don't have really any sort of uh, technical certifications under my belt. I have a project management certification. I have uh, leadership certifications. Uh, I have management certifications. I have uh, coding certifications, but I don't have any sort of the uh, cybersecurity certifications uh, under my belt that allows me to transfer into something like information security. Now, if I wanted to go into information security, it would be relatively easy for me to gain these certifications so I can start planning a career towards that field, which is something that you guys are going to have to do. So when planning for a cybersecurity role, it is best practice to uh, pay attention to what kinds of certifications that you're going to need for the specific kinds of jobs and to pursue those certifications so that you can get your foot into the door. And the fourth thing, guys, is to network. And that's why I recommend to watch the folks who are on YouTube, who are information security analysts or cybersecurity professionals and network with them. Go into the comment sections, ask questions, look on pe look for people on LinkedIn who have these sorts of roles that you have. Reach out to them. Try to understand exactly what they do on a day to day basis. A lot of these folks, they do this stuff and they've been doing this stuff for quite some time and they don't share that information on things like YouTube. Right. So you want to reach out to these people to get that information and network with them in order for you to be aligned on specific career tracks that you want to go into. And this will help you stay informed on the latest trends and the opportunities that are coming up within the space of cybersecurity. So let's now talk about some of the skills that you're going to need to learn while you're in the university or while you're going for your degree. If you want to become an information security analyst, here are some of the top skills that you're going to need in order for you to really have a chance to um, gain a job or gain employment outside of your certifications. You're going to need some programming experience. So since information security analysts are charged with, you know, defending digital infrastructure, it makes sense for uh, information security analysts to understand how to program at a base level. So doing things in C, C++, PHP, Perl, Java, uh, any of those languages would certainly help and having a just a basic understanding of what those languages look like uh, would certainly help. You need to have analytical skills as well. Information security analysts, they work with uh, data from a variety of different sources, and you need to be able to comb through that data and understand that data and what some of the inputs are in order for you to make the right decisions. And you also need to be pretty detail oriented as well. Uh, information security analysts, it really comes down to examining the details when you're doing your work for network security and things like that. Um, you want to understand what are some of the major impacts and you need to be able to um, uh, look at the small details, whether it's computer code or whether it is uh, a network infrastructure and then for you to figure it out. And I would also say you need to be somebody who is forward thinking as well. You need to be able to anticipate what may happen in the future. Uh, that helps also with getting certifications and things like that. But you need to understand what are some of the current data and some of the trends in order for you to make security recommendations. So last, I'm going to talk about the job outlook for information security analysts or cybersecurity analysts and things like that. So cybersecurity, um, it is a field that is continuing to blow up at this point in time in a 
Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that the employment opportunities for information security professionals, cybersecurity professionals will grow by 36% through 2024. So that's the next three years, guys, and companies are continuing to hire these folks. And what I would also say is this, the projected rate of job growth is much faster than all the other sectors that exist out there for the next several years. So it is a very important field that's continuing to ramp up at this point in time. And they do get an opportunity to make a lot of money. The median reported salary for somebody who is a information security analyst is around $96,000 per year. Um, and with more professional training and experience, it can get as high as up to $156,000, $170,000 a year, guys. So it is a lucrative career. It is a lucrative career path that you can go down into if you want to be a cybersecurity professional. And it also has many options that you can go into as well uh, if you want to become an information security analyst. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment on any of these points that I have hit in this video today. I want to hear from you. Do you want to become an information security analyst? Do you want to work in this, a cybersecurity field? What is it that you want to accomplish if this video has resonated with you? Also, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to help us grow this channel. Also, hit that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, y'all, peace.